Hi everyone. Oh, yeah, I'm in bed now. Um, I'm really, really drowsy because I've been eating. I haven't been eating that much, but I have been eating, so I'm kind of drowsy, you know. Oh. Oh. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about um the current progress with my gang stalking and my current state of mind at the moment within this current phase so i think i was wrong about the spell casting thing uh my apologies to my fellow ti's for triggering you like that because i know a lot of gang a lot i know a lot of targeted individuals are triggered by talk of baneful magic and things like that so i'm i apologize for triggering you potentially unnecessarily um I think the same thing that's happening now is the same thing that happens with every situation where I move into somewhere and there are perps that live close to me. And what I think is going on is that my videos are being perused, looking for evidence against me. <laughs> I look, <laughs> I'm sorry, looking for evidence against me so that they can have like, you know, grounds to kick me out. I don't I don't know what's going on, but I have to tell you guys a secret. If it gets to a point where I'm not leaving my flat or I'm not leaving my place where I've been staying, then that's usually a sign that I'm done with the place that I'm actually staying in. And I know I'm not supposed to say that, because I don't know where I'm going to be placed next. And the only reason why I'm still staying here is because I'm not used to being in a situation where I have to look for somewhere of my own, of my own accord. And when I do look for somewhere of my own accord, it usually doesn't work out too well. You know, and it's not just because of gang stalking. It's just because I don't know. I'm not the best at doing these things by myself. So it's like both the gang stalkers and me want the same thing at this point. I don't want to live next to them either. In fact, I've been not, not wanting to live next to them because I knew from the first month that, you know, I had these new neighbours. From the first month that I had them, I knew I knew there were just going to be nothing but trouble. So I didn't want to live next to them either, but it's just... The thing about gang stalking, right, is that they can never just do what you ask them to do. I asked the gang stalkers to find me somewhere ages ago. Uh, you know, and in their very little defense, okay. I did change my mind later on when I saw how how happy my family was with my progress. And I thought, you know what, I'm not I'm not gonna fucking cut up and run again, you know, not you know. Because it wouldn't do them any good to see me unhappy all over again. Because then they'd have to deal with the burden of having to deal with the emotional fallout when something else didn't work. So I didn't want to put them through that. And especially not my dad's side of the family. I really did not want to put them through that. So I decided to stay in the end. But I did say that I'm one of those people where if you do what I tell you to do, then there are no problems. You don't do what I ask you to do. There are problems. And it's not just me being a tyrant. It's not just me, you know, trying to be, you know, all Billy Big Bollocks with my, t with my fucking perks. Like, it's literally how it is. I ask for something to be done. They don't do it. And then what happens is that they end up in a disadvantageous situation. I've got to change my, I've got to change my charger. Hang on. You know, they don't do what I ask them to do. They don't provide me with the purple work, paperwork that I ask for. They always try to do something conniving. And then next thing you know, it's a hundred times harder to, you know, to get what they... It's just a hundred times harder. Everything's a hundred times harder. There's a tap that still hasn't been fixed. There's mold that still hasn't been sorted out. And it's like, you're doing all this to try to get me out of the flat. But I wanted out ages ago. And you're in a position where you could have actually helped me do that. You could have actually helped me 
get somewhere. The landlords could have helped me get somewhere. The council could have helped me get somewhere. But because the emphasis is on spite, it makes things a hundred times harder than it needs to be. Because the emphasis is on trafficking, everything's a hundred times harder than it needs to be. And all in the hopes of stressing me out when really the only thing it's doing is stressing everybody else out. I don't want to live somewhere where I'm called the N-word every five minutes. I don't want to live somewhere where everybody wants to believe the worst parts of you, whether you do right or not. I don't want to live some somewhere like that. It's just that I don't know where I would necessarily be placed. And as much as I love Brighton, I might not even stay here. And that's not down to me. That's down to how public housing works. But at the same time, like, if they'd have just done what I asked them to do, if they weren't, if they weren't so fucking spiteful all the time, then I would have been moved out of here a lot sooner. Everybody could have been racist in peace. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if it, if it was if it was just done, what if people had just done what I asked them to do to begin with? Like, everybody could have just been racist in peace, and I could have been free. To live somewhere else or to find somewhere else to go. Do you know what I mean? Truth be told, I don't even have to stay in this country. And I think low key, that's why there's been attempts to section me. And especially under section three. Because if I'm under section three, it doesn't guarantee that I won't be able to travel anywhere. But it would make it more difficult. I don't even have to stay in a country. I can go wherever I want to. The whole thing about having nowhere to go is that you have everywhere to go. I worked that one out when I came to Brighton. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I've got to, really got to fix this thing. I really need a new lead. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so that's the plan. Get evidence on me and then get me to leave the flat or something. Uh, like, again, emphasis is on spite. So nobody's doing anything right right now. I could have left so long. I could have left a year ago. Could have left more than a year ago before that family got here. But nobody wants to do what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody wants to play at being a silly fucker. Well, you play silly games, you get silly prizes. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think that's what's going on. I think it's just an attempt to just get as much evidence on me as possible so that they can get me out of here. But if I'm staying in my flat for weeks on end, if I'm staying anywhere for weeks on end, if I'm staying anywhere for days on end, that's a clue that I don't need to be in this area anymore. That's a clue that I don't need to be around these people anymore. But again, if they want me out of here, the best thing they can do is, you know, the best thing they can do is just get other neighbours involved. Like just, you know, if the other neighbours can lie and say that this family haven't been bullying me, then they can definitely lie and say that they want me out. If they can lie and, and cover for the neighbours, then they can lie and get me out of here. It's not hard. All the other neighbours have to do is just be like, you know, OK, let's get together. Let's talk about this. Let's get her out. That's all they have to do. It's not difficult. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult to do. It's just that they want to try to make themselves look good. Whilst they fuck someone else over. I, and unfortunately, there's no real way to do that. You know? There's no real way to do that. So it's up to them. Anyway, I've got to go. This phone lead is just... is not the business at all. It's just... <laughs> this phone lead is just doing some extra nonsense I've got to I've got to adjust it so I gotta go that's basically that on that nothing new it's just the same old shit 
like tried to get evidence. These people have been trying to get evidence against me for like, oh, it's always the same shit. Try to get what evidence? If there was evidence, I'm being watched 24 seven. They're looking up every single crevice of my daily life. If they ain't got evidence by now, they're never going to. Anyway, I gotta go. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.